music for Lagos. 102.3 Max FM. Oh, we just listened to that one from Amarade titled Princess Going Digital off of the Fountain Baby album. And that's the song that we're going to be reviewing right now. Yeah, IT. let's go. Let's go straight into it. We're talking about the title earlier on. Yeah. Princess Going Digital. I have no idea where that is from, honestly. Because it doesn't, it doesn't relate to the story the song is trying to tell. Oh, I think the song is trying to tell. Yeah. <laughs> entirely different. The song is about a girl who is not really used to love, now finding love. Uh-huh. But the guy she's in love with is not so interested in the relationship. So she's begging the guy, Alpha, please, let's do this. <laughs> so Princess going digital with that story, I don't get it. <laughs> I don't well, know what inspired her. Well. I, I think maybe, so it just hit me finally, like, yeah. maybe what she's trying to say is like, you know, at the end of the street, since you, you know, I, I like you and then you're not, you know, in that, you know, I'm going to, yeah, exactly. Well, she's I'm, basically I'm gonna, saying, you know, take me out the streets. That was yeah, she's yeah, she's saying, take me out the streets. But the guy is not in line with that, like, yeah. you know, from what she's saying, you yeah. know, right there, which then means like, you know, I, so if you're not taking me, let me go and put myself where someone else would take me. Or so like how did that take enter inside now? You That's know, Ote is weird when it comes to Ote music. So I she, mean, she probably yeah, won't yeah. say princess entry street. Uh, okay, our <laughs> street is now digital. So yeah. this guy is the you, new street. You know exactly like from today, the, the online space, digital. the digital space is the new street where everything happens. Yeah, 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 so, yeah, yeah. I think but I actually get that. Though, actually, though, he's, he's, he's not wrong. Yeah, like yeah. That, man. And then uh, I, I like to say that ads really can only be explained by the artist. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we can that. we can true postulate that. different ideas now and it's not what she initially really wanted means. to make. Yeah, yeah. So she decides what it means. Hopefully, That's when fine. she comes on the show, she would explain it to us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But let's Tomorrow. talk about the song itself. The yeah. song itself. Thoughts? I think... Is this regular Amare? Uh, this is regular Amare. I think the Amare ingredient is there. Like, it's you know that this is Amare. But then there are some twitches. Generally, with the album, the beats are insane. Production of this album is insane. Like, it's incredible. And, um, you know... There is a way that she sounds on this particular song that has liking to Santi. Hmm. Yeah, and Odusi, and this our Nigerian Ote guys. Hmm. No, Amari, she's she's not Nigerian. She's, she's Ghanaian, yeah, you know. Yeah, that's another you know thing that surprises me about her, you know, because yeah, Ghanaians are known to predominantly tap into high life music, but she's yeah. doing Ote music, you know, yeah. this dope. Like Ghanaians, we know them for Ote and then for hip hop music, yeah. you know, and all that. And then the drill, you know, the uh, Ghanaian drill that yeah, they, you know, they also, you know, are tapped into but then like you that's know, the whole idea she, of being alternative you know? like she's just different from the rest of them and on this song she sounds like nigerian ote a lot yeah and do you know this song wicked sexy by odu cdng yes i know it so wicked mm. sexy has very similar bit to this preset going digital mm. like it's almost the same thing and mm. i reckon that is because one of the producers on this song is a nigerian his name is tochi bradford mm. he produces for santi and odu right and it's heavily influenced by those guys like this santi and odyssey are like they're like gods when it comes to this nigerian <laughs> author scene so most of the producers in the space are very much influenced by them hmm. interesting yeah so this touchy breastford is one of the guys that has been you know tutored by santi i think he, they even live together and yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. so you can hear the santi influence on this on record. this record right yeah, yeah. yeah. The, will you say that as a good thing or a bad thing well because you know i feel like you know uh when you say you can hear it yeah. you know uh predominantly because from yeah. what you're saying it sounds like you know something that you've heard you know yeah. from producing the engine yeah. and then you can also hear the santi influence mm-hmm. uh do you think that's a good thing or a bad thing really well i think amare already is an hotel babe mm-hmm. and the way the hotel community is nobody's really dragging anything it's just like yeah i, li- I, I like that about the hotel yeah, community yeah, actually dragging yes. anything. it's like family if i see mm-hmm. this working for you I can try it too and it's, if it works for me great that's what mm. i'm just guessing that that's what she's doing with this, with song. this one and then mm. everybody knows that amari is trying to buy lagos <laughs> like she's trying to get to the market like. yeah but yeah. i think it's working yeah it is it's working yeah because she's, she's one of the few non-nigerian artists who are accepted just as artists without Real. with like the part that she's Ghanaian is secondary a lot of people don't even know she's yeah, Ghanaian yeah. when you mention you it know. you're like oh she's Ghanaian I yeah. do know yeah. she's just like a regular Nigerian artist to us it's working for her it's like working. she's it's doing really it so that's what she's doing with this record I think she's bu- trying to buy into the hotel space hmm, and it's a very good attempt 
Interesting. Because the song is sweet, though. <laughs> the song is very sweet. <laughs> so let me tell you, when I, when, I, when I wanted to listen to Fountain Baby, the album, yeah. I mean, I'd been listening to other songs. Like, okay, yeah. okay, 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 okay. And then we got to the song. I was like, okay. Yeah. I listened the first time. I had to take it yeah. back again. I played it like three times. Like, okay, no, there's something special about, about this particular jam. Yeah. You know so, like, don't you think, like, you know, uh, this song then should have led the album? Like, you know, like... Should have not been on the should album. Have should the have led the album. But I like, oh, I, like led. Reckless, yeah. I like Reckless and Sweet. That's the song that led the album. Yeah, I mean, with picking a lead single, you have to be careful. You, most of the time, you don't put out your best song on the yeah. album as your lead single. Yeah. So that people have something to be excited about when the album comes out. Comes. Yes. So that's probably what she, she's trying to do. And then the lead singles she dropped before the album, yeah. if you check them, they are very Nigerian. Nah. Which, Okay. What yeah, are the two again? And Reckless and Sweet and, and uh, Costa. Yeah, Costa. So Costa is even a little bit less Nigerian, but Reckless and Sweet is like she made it for whiskey devs. <laughs> it's like a whiskey song. Honestly, it's just the voice that is different. The beat is a whiskey type beat. Like uh, our selection of words. Where whiskey type. Yeah, I mean Reckless and Sweet is. It's something whiskey. If you don't know, yeah, if you don't know it's Amari that sang it, if yeah. you hear the title, you yeah, probably it's think, a you know, song. Yeah. <laughs> but, but then I, sometimes, you know, I, I criticize when uh, people tend to uh, mm. tap into the vibe of another artist. Yeah. Sort of, I believe in, you know, chatting that part that is unique yeah. to you. Matter of fact, uh, I love one day call from here to mm. Jupiter, you know, mm. Branch Neptune. <laughs> go to Pluto and then come back. I love him like crazy. But then when I listen to, you know, we, we dissected, you know, one of the songs that he did on his album, Ebele Bay, and I'm like, no, like, what, this is a one day <laughs> quote. <laughs> you get, I'm like, this is one day quote being whiskey diced. Yes. You know, that was the word I borrowed. Yes, like, yeah. I don't know, like, uh, you whiskey you know, you know, you know, know, exactly. So I feel like sometimes, you know, I, I don't know how but I really I think, feel I about think it. Amari is one of the few artists who, I mean, there are a few times where she does things like this. But if yeah. you listen to Amari's project, she's one of those people who are authentically yeah. themselves. Yeah. She's not trying to be like anybody. No, you I get that. Yeah, you but, can but get the influences on the song. So the thing is, it's okay for you to tap into influences. We're all influenced by one or the other That's Actually, for instance i rap and i know that you know i'm influenced by you know certain rappers yeah. as well yeah. but then i feel like when the influence is heavier mm. than you know Your uh, own style. exactly and then i, I then tend to be like mm, okay all right tell us teams. the truth creative people <laughs> <laughs> real talk creative people true, true are true, like true i just have to steal like true an though. artist still and make it art that's just Facts. it you know, they, you know how they say you know whatever we create sometimes is from what we've you know heard or yeah, encountered or and then we recreated it's you know, beyond so like, you yeah. it's just how the mind works works I feel you though if I you are in you. a zone and <laughs> someone else puts you in that zone that's why uh-huh. like when you hear that artists want to drop projects or anything they go and listen to some other guys to influence yeah, them and that. this project sounds you know what well, let's, let's go play some music then we'll come back <laughs> continue this conversation yeah, I know, I know, yeah, well, <laughs> music for Lagos 102.3 Max FM okay so I was about to say something something else that is you know of the conversation of <laughs> new music review so let, let me get back this is the power i say i get back in uh in what was the word i don't know get back to the script to regular programming. To regular programming <laughs> like you know because the script right now is about new music review right yeah, now so you know let, let's get back you know to that though there's no script like you know because you yeah. know i'm like like I, I think i almost got fired one time for not sticking to script i'm like i don't do scripts like you know like but it's you know, not here sir. You know, no you not here like, no like not even on like on radio like people you know, use scripts on radio no like some uh, people uh, you know wow. actually do you know and then that's I, crazy <laughs> story for another day let's get back to this <laughs> <laughs> anywho um, that's the song that we're reviewing for today Princess Going Digital Amare you can rate this song on a scale of 1 to 10 all you need yeah. to do is send us a voice note on whatsapp to 0818 014 Four three four three. I'll take yes. that again. Zero eight one eight zero one four four three four three. Tell us your name, where you're listening from, and rate the song on a scale of one to ten, and tell us why. Exactly. Why you you're know. giving it that rating? Don't just tell us the number. Look like already. Yeah, are you serious? Like, yeah, because oh. you know these songs are just like most other songs. Uh huh. They are not for everybody. So like most people will not like them. <laughs> what What do you then think Oten music needs to do? Uh, to connect Nothing. also, you know, to the mainstream. Nothing. Nothing. That's the idea. You yeah. mess up the idea if you connect to the mainstream. They're alternative. Mm-hmm. You're not supposed to be mainstream. I feel like other artists, before you choose that part for your life, you get to know that you might never be mainstream. Yeah. But, so sometimes they actually do make it to the mainstream yeah. and it's because of, it's more about the branding than the music. Mm. So we have guys like, like Odumodu, for instance. Word. Mm-hmm. Word. And you might, it might not be like, you might get to the mainstream, but it might not even still be mainstream, mainstream. Uh-huh. You might just get to most 
liberal people like let's just say like bodge yeah. like yeah. what bodge is now yeah, bodge yeah, is yeah. kind of mainstream yeah, but yeah, not exactly. mainstream yeah. mainstream and then your features your features will do it for you, for you. yeah to some extent because because I, I think you know why i asked that yeah. I, I think it's very important um to use the music the hotel because yeah. you know, hotel music is such a beautiful thing the hotel culture is such a beautiful yeah. thing you know some there are some yeah. websites to yeah. it like some people t- tend to take it to that extreme yeah. where you know where they go crazy weird yeah. me i'm okay i'm like i don't think word is weird. i think word is special right yeah. so really? I, f- I then feel that that needs to reach more people so that yeah. we can get more people yeah, away but from more people wanted to reach them uh-huh. that's a different no thing. that's the thing like you know like as nigeria we have a music taste too, it, it has to reach you first before you then you know who is the musician who is the technician we like <laughs> it <laughs> I promise you, <laughs> we love it. If you try to bring something else, they'll be like, oh my God. Oh, imagine my mom listening to <laughs> Nami Doggy Pile. Eh? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> no. So your mama will listen to who is the musician? Yeah, the she will. Stash? But we need the <laughs> elevation. You know, we need the elevation. We, we need the mental elevation and the, yeah. you know, the philosophical elevation that yeah. comes from Ote music from for, you know for instance real, real, real. You, you dig hip-hop does that as well you know when you listen to hip-hop music yeah. there's always okay you know there's that hip yeah. and that hap, but also the messages that come with it and the mentality that hip-hop yeah. brings you know needs to reach more people See, for so that many, elevation so many factors that affect that one of them is age because with age comes like you're at a place in your life uh-huh. where there's something you're looking for from music uh-huh. so as young people it's easier for you to want something that is rebellious something that is different that's the same thing with hip-hop mm-hmm. right you, just, you want something that is different from the norm uh-huh. because you're in your re- rebellious phase yeah that's yeah. something about it too i'll yeah, exactly. tell you something so, that's away from the norm yeah you're away from the norm a time will come in your life when that's not what you're looking for you just want to be normal yeah <laughs> you don't want stress no, i don't, don't ever want to be normal anymore. no i don't anyway like, i don't i want to be peacefully abnormal the, like you know yeah, I, mean? like, I, yeah. I, I get what you're trying to say but that's the thing with alternative music like if you at some point, you can decide to say, okay, well, I'm not more doing this other thing again. I want uh-huh. to go mainstream. We have had guys like that. Uh-huh. We have had people like, like Benson. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. Like We've Benson. had people like that. Even even Oxley, to an extent, is an other boy. Mm-hmm. Or used to be. Used to be. And then mm-hmm. you just decide one morning, like, oh, more, I'm about the racks. I'm about the money. Because mm-hmm. with alternative, you're not making as much money. Mm-hmm. Let's just say the truth. I feel you. Especially feel in you. Nigerian market. That's why people like Amari have to, like, blend markets. Mm-hmm. You ca- she can't just do Nigeria because sh- you know that most Nigerians won't listen to your kind of music. I feel you. And Amare is actually American Ghanaian. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, because mm. I think she was born there and she grew up there yeah. as well. Mm. So she has to hold on to that American market. That's why if you listen to Fountain Baby album as a regular Nigerian, you think it's weird and twisted. <laughs> and you think she has a banji. <laughs> yeah. And that's how most other girls are. There's Brazy, there's Solis, all of those babes. They have to go to the uk and the us because they have more people who can buy into that kind that of music, sound, music yeah. than here mm-hmm. yeah but they still also they have to hold on to this one too yeah word. it's about the money you have to word, eat word, yes word, you have to word. hold on to the nigerian market that's why you have songs like reckless and sweet yeah mm-hmm. Costa. Mm-hmm. and yeah. those nigerian features that, that she has had like the one with silver savage mm-hmm. that's what's up that's actually a very good song yeah that's the song yeah. that made me decide that, okay i should really pay attention to this amari babe mm-hmm. but should. yeah with this song right now mm-hmm. aside the fact that it reminded you a lot of um wicked sexy what else what else would you say is outstanding from this particular song princess going digital well like i said already the beat is insane mm. the beat is insane it's futuristic it's it's not afro beats it yeah, has this retro feel afro. yeah it has it's it retro, has, yeah. it has a futuristic feel and it has a retro yeah feel. exactly yeah. at the same I time how they do it <laughs> but people like touchy breath for us they genuine yeah i think there are about three producers that worked on this one or something like that yeah right? there are about four i think four, you know two right, of yeah. them are ghanian and then there's touchy that is nigerian I think right. and, and they did an also, awesome job yeah they did they did it's, it's, it's actually a really good song. song yeah yeah yeah. it is the beat is crazy i love it mm. i love it even more all right let's go play some music right now and um when we come back hopefully we'll be taking your voice notes and then giving you our final take on this particular stuff. Hit music for Lagos. 102.3 Max FM. And so there are certain things we can't do when we live with our parents. And when we're talking about some of those things uh, just 10 seconds ago, like, but let's get back into the music review. <laughs> and I'm just paying attention because I'm with a phone here. I'm actually very hot. Ah, uh, okay. This boy is so, nah. so vain, my goodness. No, like, you gotta feel yourself. Oh, honestly. Everything, if you are ugly, it's vanity. <laughs> Everything is vanity. See, so bro. allow me, please. Exactly. You are, you are fully allowed. But let's wrap up the conversation real yeah. quick. So this song, final take on it, Princess Going Digital and the album at large, Fountain Baby. And Amari too. Yeah, and Amari, yeah. yes. Okay, so I, I want to start with Amari. I think Amari has been able to like own her space. Hmm. So she has a space of like 
other alternative girls from Lagos, from Accra, because because of her, so many girls in Accra have been now inspired. We do. have Molly, we have Melissa. Babes like girls have been inspired by, by Melissa Amari. is Ghanaian. Yeah. yeah, she's Ghanaian. Wow. Exactly. You never you I will never know, know they are Ghanaian until I you find know. out. <laughs> yeah, this they even sound like her. Yeah, Melissa sounds yeah, like her. Yeah, they even sound like her up to an extent. Yeah. So Amari has been able to make that distinction about us around herself and own that space of young babes hmm. from West Africa that are trying Tapping to Tapping into different. her music. Yeah, yeah, and then distinguish herself from Thames too. Mm. And that whole Thames, um, all every girl is trying to sound like Thames era. She has <laughs> yeah. been able to break free from that, and she's super talented. I like her. Then the album Phantom Baby, I think it just goes on to solidify that that notion that she's the queen of these younger girls from West Africa, mm. like the different girls. She has been able to own that with this album. It does that because on the album you hear her as an Ote babe. On the album you hear her as an American. On the album you hear her as a Ghanaian because they mm. are Afrobeat songs and they are even Afrobeat without the S songs mm. on the album. Yeah. So it does that. And then with this song, Princess Going Digital, she has I don't know. Let's say I love that on a scale of zero to hundred before the song at <laughs> At less than 98. Nah, I know I'm not Because I love the song. I love so, if song. you're rating this song on a scale of 1 to 10, it will be a 9. That's what you're saying, right? Yes, it will be a 9. Mm. 9 yes, over 10. Nine. Yes. Primarily because of the beat. Beat has taken like 7 out of the 10 already. Mm-hmm. And then the remaining 2 will be her vocals and how she's able to tell the story. I think the one that will not make it a 10 is how the title doesn't allow yeah. the story. At least I don't get let's, it. Let's wait for her to yeah, explain I don't get it to it. us. Amari, please explain. <laughs> I don't get what it. What about you, Skills, if you're going to rate this song? Uh, if I'm going to rate it on a scale of 1 to 10, you know, I'll give this one uh, a 7. A 7. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Why? You know. Uh, so, basically, um, it's, it sounds auteur. Yeah. You know, like, really, really auteur. And uh, for me, I also feel like as much as you're trying to sound auteur, you know, you should also, you know, like I said, you know, uh, cut across. Because uh, I believe so much. See, I understand, you know, how you feel like it might lose its essence. But I also yeah. like, you know, when you cut across to try and elevate people's lifestyle. Well, every artist has you know their mean? own goal. Shaft. You know, yeah, I, I, I get that. You know, that. That's why I say, you know, for me, yeah, I'm just yeah, thinking that way. So, you know, I'll give it a seven, you know, for me. It's a great song. I love the beat. You know, the beat did that stuff about being, you know, futuristic and retro at the yeah. same time. I yeah, love that. Yeah. You know, and then I like how I feel, you know, she's... Matter of fact, I said so. I said, you know, this song is a perfect song to do, you know, something... Oh, to pray with. You to pray with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what, what are you thinking, what? man? This era, yeah. Get your mind out of the gutter. I was a very bad I was so scared. I thought what you guys said off air. You wanted to pray. You know, it gets you to uh, that. Yes, you know, that, you know we you have just always will. been talking about prayer. Also. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Me, I don't know what he's talking yeah, about. <laughs> this song will of make course. you vibrate with Demi Kelly. Of course. Yes. You of know course. I mean? If I'm going to read this song, I'll, I'll give it a nine as well. Ah, okay. I'll give it a nine as well. I told you the first time I heard. I like songs that when I hear instantly, go, it's it just Defy, works. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't want. I don't want the ones that will be growing on me. That agriculture thing. No. Let but yeah, FC. So how does that work for you? I'm not an FC. Okay. Okay. She's she's thirty BG. She's thirty BG. Well, thank you so much, IT, for joining us on the show. Yeah, I love doing this. So if we call you again, you do it, yeah? Uh, yes. Why 100%. Not? Awesome. Okay. Okay. How do you get to connect with you on social media, by the way? Real so quick. I'm ITOKIM everywhere. I-T-T-Y-O-K-I-M. Everywhere. I-T-T-Y-O-K-I-M. I-T-T-Y-O-K-I-M. Awesome. Together. So people are wondering if you're single. Are you single? <laughs> I'm messing with you. <laughs> How much do you have? <laughs> then we we'll know if I'm single or not. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Hit music for Lagos. 102.3 Max FM.